Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and go over some update info and things going on this week at BSO2 NGS. So let's jump on into it. Okay, so one of the very first things I'm going to mention to you all this week is we have super pre-announced urgent quests. So urgent quests are going to be scheduled all week. There's actually a 250% rare drop rate as well 250% fixer rate for all of the urgent quests. And you can get 100k Masetta for each time that you run the urgent quest for the Dark Falls Dalian as well. So it's really good to hit that currently right now. So they're going to have concerts and urgent quests both scheduled all week. I'm going to leave a link in the video description below so you all can check it out for yourselves. But you'll just want to click on the link and go to the website just to see the concert schedule and the urgent quest schedule in your own time zone. That way so you don't miss out on these. It's really important to hit them for real. That's a, some really good incentives to run this, having 100k Masetta. So something else that's nice that's going on all week is going to be the Crimson Realm actually has like some nice little buffs going on. So there's currently a 250% rare drop rate for Crimson Realm and as well also a drop rate for the item preset skill fixes at 250% too. And as well you could also get Wingard weapons as drops from all of the enemies inside the Crimson Realm too. Now the Crimson Realm will change day to day between Lost Central and Belagana Ruins. Uh, but it's an extremely good time to run that during this week. Just doing a bunch of PSE farming, just making the Rosetta, and hopefully getting some wing guard weapons with good fixes. So something else I do want to mention to y'all is PSL2 user day is going to be coming up here soon. So that's going to be some extra rare drop rate and also some star gems for logging in for during that time period. And that's going to be happening Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And it's going to last all the way till Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. So keep that in mind for your local time zone. So we do have another limited time quest that got added this week, and that's Nazoon's Big Quiz Part 3. So this is one of those quiz type of limited time quests. Uh, these are actually pretty fun if you get with some friends and run them and stuff. Uh, it's actually pretty fun just trying to get the answers right or possibly throwing each other off and getting the answers wrong. Maybe just trying to mess with your friends and stuff. You can be pretty silly with it. Uh, you want to try to at least run it one time, because as you can see there in the middle of the screen, running it one time gets you 10 of those anniversary SP tickets. And it actually has pretty good drops too, just like most of the regular limited time quests. It has the wing guard weapons currently, and you can also get a hold of some of those anniversary SP scratch tickets there too. So it's pretty good drops. So I do want to mention to you all that we do have an NGS headline that's going to be coming up here on May 31st, and it's going to be 8 in the morning Eastern time. So I'm going to leave a link in the video description below to the NGS official YouTube headline that's going to be coming up. And uh, keep that in mind for your local time zone too. The time that is gave y'all's Eastern time. So we do have a new AC scratch that got added to the game today, and that's the Elegant Harmony. Now this Elegant Harmony actually has some pretty nice motions instead of the scratch count bonus. Unfortunately, these are locked behind paying AC, so you have to actually pay AC to get a hold of these. These Dark Magic EX uh, Motion Glide and Idle, these are actually really cool. Now, there's some regular versions of these inside of the prize pool, but uh, it doesn't have the dark magic effect to it like this. Like this magic uh, idol here for 45 scratch count bonus looks sick. Uh, I just, I'm, I really hate that they made it non tradable in personal shops. But you have to actually like whale to get a hold of this. You have to like scratch to get this one. And I'm going to show you here on the prize listing. If we go down here towards the one that's like could be traded in player shops, the same idol. You can see whenever you go to idle with it, it doesn't actually have like the cool dark magic or anything. It's basically just the pose. So it's kind of lame in comparison, unfortunately. Uh, but if you do plan on scratching on this scratch, that motion idle is actually pretty sick. So it's a really nice reward incentive, I would say, for scratching. I do want to mention my friend Corone should be posting an outfit showcase video showing off all the differences between all of these outfits here and stuff. She'll show you what the difference is on what pieces can be like hidden and which pieces can be colored and stuff. So I'm going to leave a link in the video description below to Corone's YouTube so you can go check her out. That's some really helpful info. Now I did also want to mention inside of this AC scratch, there's actually like a couple of emotes in here that are extremely nice. This big bear doll emote here in particular is really, really good. I can see this being very popular. And also the ballet dancer pose is actually not a bad one too. So definitely in like some pretty good stuff inside the scratch. Be sure to check it out. So this week we do have another ARCS record ranking that's going on. So if you open up your menu, you go to personal, then ARCS records challenge, and then the random challenge records. You can find right here, it's the face the darkness solo. Now you want to try to make sure you do one run of this so you get a participation reward. And as always, if you have characters in multiple ships, make sure you do a run per ship because it's an individual ranking reward per ship, which in turn can get those star gems on the off ships that you don't normally play, which affects your entire count. Now, the way that you would find this, you can find it if you open up your world map and it's over in the Dries implant. It's right here at this cocoon, face the darkness. 
but you can see right here behind me. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for the video. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, friends. I'll see you all in the next one.